Okay, good morning, School of Tomorrow. This is take two. What I intended for an opening effect was to start where I left off. I'd mentioned the JFK movie. I didn't really get into it, actually. I talked a little about Critical Path, but I didn't, uh, I didn't really say what, what was scary about it. I said it had Cold War stuff and money stuff. So I figure there's fill-in-the-blanks options here. Fill-in-the-blanks, by the way, has me thinking of Mad Libs. Now, Mad Libs, if you're not familiar, are a genre often thought of as a car amusement, like people taking long trips, burning their fossil fuel or their battery power. Where'd the battery power come from? All this good questions. Run your simulation accordingly, right? But I'm just talking about Mad Libs now. This one looks already filled in. Why I bring up Mad Libs? Because learning Python and string substitution, I found that's been an important uh, activity. And if you go back in some of my other slideshows, we use uh, Mad Libs in a way of, uh, in, the, in the step towards introducing like computed coordinates or something into, say, ray tracing uh, scene language description, like for POV ray, if you want to like generate a geometric shape for ray tracing, a good technique is to already have canned all kinds of script fragments about cylinders and you know what I'm talking about, right? And then just substitute into that. So here we're going to hit reload. This is the effect I wanted to uh, jump to. So I'll talk more about those things, critical path. Like, I don't want you to not read these things, though, just because I'm, like, sort of giving you a cliff notes, right? I am, as a teacher who draws on the fuller syllabus, that's what we do in this channel quite a bit, um, I don't want to spare you what I would consider the privilege of also reading what what the texts are, right? But I'm not going to read them aloud like audiobook. That's not in my plans. Who knows what will really happen. But I do hold up the... Uh, by the way, uh, there's a sequence of videos, just mentioning my channel here for a second, on a lattice gallery in December of 2019, October through December. And if you scroll back in my channel, that's a good introduction to a lot of the geometry in the context of art. And uh, art science is something we've long associated with the Fuller Syllabus. My friend Andrew Frank uses that. I also get into psychology some. I attribute that uh, to why Ed and I overlap a lot, uh, because that's an interest of his, and he's the one who indexed synergetics as well, and, you know, it was up to him, do we index pronouns, like he, she, we, and yeah, that's important, and so Ed was, you know, he shared my interest in that, pronouns, and I was interested in pronouns long before Portland got into the questions around gender and pronouns, and as you heard in the last video, I'm into ethnicity at the expense, you could say, of race, at, at uh, the cost of race having to really fight to keep in the game, because ethnicity would like to use all of your words, and you're going to have to, like, get into a tug of war in a way, because ethnic-wise, I want to be able to say I'm an African-American, and by that I just mean, like, I grew up in South Africa. Yeah, I have white skin, but that doesn't mean you're not from Africa, right? So these kind of things, right, you want to, like, suddenly change the rules to where skin color, again, doesn't matter, but not because there's no ethnicity. That was never the, we were never wanting to be ethnicity blind, right? That wasn't the point. And everything's an ethnicity. There's no, pro, no people with no ethnicity, right? It's not a bad thing to have or be a, a eth, part of ethnic groups. It's what we call demographics, right? It's what advertisers probably know more about than most people. Good advertisers, right? Okay, so Portland's in the news, by the way, and that means it's become kind of part of the computation. 
people are trying to figure out what ills America, what's wrong with America, and so on. And now Portland's entered the computation. And there is a lot of T&D, as we say. Trauma and drama. And uh, now I've not personally been downtown since the outbreak of the pandemic. I wear my mask and pretty much am... I'm not practicing. What they call lockdown has never meant lockdown, right? It's an over-exaggeration. People are watching this TV show called Orange is the New Black. And then the president's orange. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, so in my very loose kind of lockdown where I could go to the supermarket, which I did not do for quite some time, but then, you know, as an older person, they're saying, you know, don't even go shopping. So, no, I didn't. We tried the Instacart. We did all that. And now I do go to the supermarket, and this is one of my masks, which I think, in a way, you could criticize as looking like I just sneezed. It's like it looks like like it looks like the trope for germs and and stuff is like painted on here. It looks like a symbol of coronavirus or something. Like it's it it subconsciously, if not consciously, is self-referential to the whole pandemic thing. It's. I don't know, I'm, I'm, but it's art, it's arty, and I, I've, I've done okay with it. So I, I'm not going to criticize it deeply because I'm wearing it. So obviously I like it enough to wear it. And then this is my other, I call this my party mask. It's not quite, I don't think of it as robust. And I do also have an N95, which I won't even bother to show. And so I bring up that because um, in defense of the last video being a little bit uh, kind of off the cuff, I want to be okay with that. I want to have like a lot of things going while you're making your video and it's not necessarily totally tight. So there were things about it. Misspelling. Um, so here's JFK where we left off. And at the same time as I was doing last video, I was getting ready for our big taste test of some Asian ice creams. Now this is all socially distanced and these are actually made from Pittsburgh, California which Hayden on the phone last night was telling me where that's probably at and uh, Magnolia though is from my childhood in the Philippines if childhood includes high school let's just say it does and nice queso corn and cheese and jackfruit. Okay two flavors we'd never had we being the three of us who'd gathered with masks, socially distanced, to test these flavors. And I'd say they both both passed the test, although jackfruit was even more popular. It's like, wow, that's that's pretty good. So that was going on at the same time as I was making my video. So let me clear up a couple things like Critical Path. It's got a lot in it about I mentioned irrigation a few videos ago I talked about its west to east narrative which at least has mnemonic power as if humanity had magically only appeared in one part of the world and then spread around towards the west from Polynesia right and if you if you brand humanity as a certain psychology which then you trace back into a cosmic uh, background you can make that work as kind of a big opera, right? And it would take a while to develop. And I'm not see going to do all that here. Tetra Scroll is a place to start. Mythopoetics, right? Get into some kind of folk religion mood. It's very speculative. And besides that, you could think of it as kind of an encryption. As we do with fairy tales today, or myths, we look at them for astronomical information. We realize that you're holding together in your head some important navigation information through the purpose the purpose being to get around but you've got to have a story to remember it and so that's what a lot of mythology has always been right that's Hamlet's Mill and so forth right so Portland has become part of the global computation I grant you that and here we are in Portland and we're looking at C60 this is what you'll find in the lattice gallery um, videos back in December mentioned, right? I already mentioned this. I know that. And, okay, critical path. What have we been talking about lately, right? What have we talked about? 
So I keep bringing up Linux. I'm really meaning Linux now. I'm holding up the Unix book. But I'm talking about the open source design science free software revolution. Our freedom to totally share all the blueprints. It's not like you can't use that. I thought of it. Blah, 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 blah. We're not fighting for ownership of the idea, right? Not in the sense that you can't use it unless I say you can't, right? We're not doing it that way. Then JFK book. By who? Prouty, right? And so we were looking at Oliver Stone talking about him. And there, you know, he's well known to the to the JFK crowd. Like I'm not I'm not revealing anything here about, oh, I have special inside knowledge that there's a Prouty. Obviously not, right? Like Joe Rogan maybe took a while to find out, but a lot of people knew that. Now, critical path, this is where we're back to American transcendentalism. And I wanted to add that there's a lot about um, GPS, satellites, you know, that was a big deal. Sort of the declassifying of the Earth's surface as shouldn't be a secret, right? It's like we got these eyes in the sky that have been paid for. The Keyhole, right, project, all these like... You know, they look like Hubble, but they're pointed the other way, right? That's why the Hubble people kind of feel miffed that they only get to have their Hubble, and when that dies, they're not promised another Hubble. You know, James Webb aside, you still could have another Hubble, and all it is is another inward-pointing telescope facing outward, basically. It's like, if the budget has so much for the inward-pointy, how come... You know, can't even toss more than one bone to astronomers, right? It feels that way. I understand. So we we left off at JFK. I was talking. It's got Cold War content. Obviously, duh, right? Because that defines the period, Cuban Missile Crisis. Notice she's gone before and after. We're talking about corporate logos now. There's a big fight in cyber world, and the casualties seem to all be what's called people of color. They got kicked off their brands. Very racist. And then we've got this uh, kind of iconography. Looks like soccer balls, and this again is the sculptures I'm talking about. Souvenir Cup. Used to live in D.C., a few times. So did Carol. So did Jack. These are my parents. No, no, those are not my parents. Those are um, little unicorn slippers, which are too small for me. All right. And this is my house. Subgenius has been w weaving through here. I get Subgenius news mailed to me. Um, this is from Dobbs.town Mirror and so forth. So something just went thump. There is another sentient being in the in the room here with me, but I'm not going to mess with him right now. He's not a human, and he has no legs, you know, which could I could do a whole long talk here. I have a whole interesting talk, I think, about snakes and stuff, but for another time. But it kind of related, if you know what I mean. One more... I've been talking about Tetris Scroll. Doing Fuller Syllabus, folks. These are books by Buckminster Fuller. And uh, why do I mention Prouty? Therefore, let me close that gap off a lot. It's partly because he cites Bucky in this book, like quotes him. Kind of as orienting for his tale. Like he's taking Fuller as, um, you know... One of those people you cite sometimes because they have deep insight into the world as you also know it, right? You, you're like, yeah, that's kind of how I think. Here, put in a Bucky quote. So that was partly it. So, yeah, Moyers. Let me end on where can you find Moyers elsewhere in literature? Or literature is a big category. So we're on YouTube here. Electronic behavior this is a good uh, video electronic behavior control system I am winding up right now 
I hope I filled in some blanks about stuff. Remember Mad Libs. Electronic Behavior Control System ends. This always reminds me of like an S commercial, but there were never any such things, right? It was word of mouth, actually. Okay, hold on. This guy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this, this is one of my favorite videos. But going to the very end here, if you're not sure who Bill Moyers is, this is from his, he was big on television. And some connection to the Peace Corps, right? And to the Kennedy administration and so forth. And and I highly recommend this video. There's an audio track I'm not playing. And it just reminds us uh, kind of of the mind's eye. I don't know. It's just a good ending as well. Good video. Thank you to uh, EBN. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Hope this is one of your uh, favorites. Wasn't a spooky ball, though.